is so stupid at your age. You have practically turned this house into a baby making factory. I'm sorry for that. Sorry for your useless self. Big fool. Twice. And it is twice you allowed that good for nothing boy to deceive you. Will you shut your rotten mouth? You said he was coming to pay your dowry the first time he got you pregnant. Look at Rosa. Already one year old. And here you are again with the second pregnancy for him in my house. No, I don't blame you. I've been the fool for not sending you out of my house after the first pregnancy. But not this time. Get out of my house. Amadi, please, now it's okay. Eh? At least for the sake of the little child, I'm begging you. You stay out of this. If I didn't listen to you the first time you pleaded, this wouldn't have repeated itself. And now! Take it easy. You are going to hurt yourself. Up! God knows I have good intention for you. It is that times have been rough. I was hoping by now I would have gotten a job, would settle down and get married, but things are just rough for me right now. I just need you to understand me, okay? You say that all the time. So what are we going to do now? Maybe you have to go to your parents and ask for a little more time. Gregory, you have to remove this shame from my face. I have become a laughing stock, even in my own family. I understand, Anita. I love you so much. It, it will be well, okay? Thanks. I know I've delayed too long in coming to see you, sir, but please, just give me a little more patience. If I, if I get a job, everything will be okay. Take a very close look at me, young man. Do I look like your mate that you keep coming here to make a fool of me? Go for a bit, sir. I'm not making a fool out of you, of you sir. All I'm asking is, uh, I'll come and pay her dowry. No need. She has already sold herself to you free of charge. Sir, please. All I asked was just some, some kind of understanding. I understand. Go and take care of your free wife and children. You have insulted this family enough. Now leave my house. Please, please, sir. Please, sir. Please, Dad! Sir! Come and take me out of here. Mommy, please help me. Mommy, please help me appeal to him. I, I really want to need to ask my wife. Greg, sit down. Thank you. You have not shown any real commitment. If you are truly serious, you would have come here with at least one of your relatives. No, we would definitely come. Anita is my first child. Now I can no longer walk tall amongst my pairs because of the shame that both of you have brought this family. I promise to wipe away every shame and the pain I've caused this family. I'm even ashamed of myself. I've not been able to live up to my responsibility. I'm, I'm so sorry.
right now, this matter is beyond you coming here alone to play. You heard my husband. Traditionally, one or more elders from your family should accompany you here. That way, we will know that you are truly serious. That way, we will have the assurance that you really want to marry our daughter and not just to mess around with her. I perfectly understand you, Ma, but at the moment, all my elder, my elderly relatives are in the village. But as soon as I can arrange one or two of them, we'll come and formally see your family. But in the meantime, I, I want an... The fools. Why must my daughter bring such a shame and discomfort in this house? I wish I had a son. Mm. I'm sorry I failed you in that area though. Oh, come off it, lady. Who is blaming you for anything? I am just disappointed in a girl I've put in so much to bring it up properly as a woman. She can still be a proper woman, my dear. Yes, she has made some stupid mistakes. But we both know that Anita hasn't particularly been a reward child. I don't think it's the right decision to send her out of this house in her condition with one year old child. It's obvious that boy cannot take care of them. Everyone has to be answerable for his or her own decision. We can be able to cope with the responsibility facing this family already. The only way to get that foolish boy up and doing is to force him into facing his responsibility. Yes, but no one. Ndidi, I listened to you the first time and now look at the result. I am not going back on my decision this time. I suppose this is where Greg Waker lives? Yes. Is he around? Can I see him? Yes, yes. Let me get him. Oh. Greg! Hey, Uncle! What a surprise. Big one. Is this where you live? Yes, your uncle. My God. You live in this filthy environment? Why didn't you get yourself a good apartment? Yes, Uncle. I, I'm barely managing. I still don't have a job. And who is this lady with uh, the pregnant woman of the child? Oh, she. She's the lady I want to get married to. And that's my child. Excuse me? What did you say? A lady you want to get married to and your child? My God. Without a job, Greg? I am embarrassed and totally disappointed in you. Eh? Uncle, you must be very tired right now. Why don't you come inside and have a rest? You expect me to put up in this hole with you? It's not possible, my friend. I think I'd better find myself a hotel. I'm going to 100% hotel and suite at baby. Please see you later. For goodness sake, Greg, I am totally disappointed and embarrassed at you. How old are you? I'm 26, uncle. Can you imagine? At 26, no job? You already have a child and a six months pregnancy in waiting? And you live in a ghetto like place like this called a house? For Colonel Laru, how why do you put yourself in such a burden at your age? It was a mistake, Uncle. I, right now, there's nothing I can do about it. If I had a job, I would have gotten married to Anita and we live a quiet married life. 
You're a fool. A big fool you are. You see, your mates are out there building a future for themselves. And you're here talking about marriage and... Listen here, my friend. I would advise you, don't get yourself entrapped in a commitment you will know that you're not ready for. What can I do now? The responsibility already on me. That's because you allowed it to be so. Eh? Because you stupidly allowed them to. You see, I will not stand here and allow you waste your away your life because of Anita, her children, and whatever pregnancy you talk about. I will not allow that. By the way, how are you even sure that the pregnancy is yours and the child is yours? I'm very sure. I'm very sure sir. Anita is very sure. My friend, you can never be sure of that. You see, these girls pretend a lot. Uh, it's, it's my uncle. Well, it doesn't matter, okay? You see, we have to concentrate on your future. You have to join me in South Africa. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity, but what happens to my, my, my baby, Anita, and the unborn baby? She can't go back to her parents. I'm all she depends on now. What sort of life do you want for yourself? Huh? Greg, that of poverty and perpetual misery, or self-actualization and financial empowerment? Look, I, it's a difficult decision for me to make right now, Uncle. See, Greg, you have to forget what happens to Anita and her child, okay? You see, when the chips are down, her parents will certainly take her back, no matter whatever happens. Now, look, listen to me, my friend. I suggest you keep this a secret. And you do not tell Anita, you do not tell any other person anything about this. Because if you blow this opportunity, if you bungle this opportunity, I promise you I'm not going to help you again. Nobody in this compound who hasn't advised her against over labor and herself. Mm. But she didn't listen. What do you guys want me to do? Do I have anyone helping me here? No. And my husband is always out of this house looking for a job. Anyway, thanks for your concern. You're welcome. Traveling. He came back not long ago with that his uncle and packed his bags. Huh? Oh, Greg. And where's my daughter? She's in her room sleeping. Wait, I think he left a note with my brother. Let me go get it. Bring it. What? I need to tell you, he's traveling. I'm sorry to leave you this way, Anita. The situation is too overbearing for me that I can no longer cope. As you read this, I'm on my way to South Africa with my uncle where I hope to get a fresh start in my life. You'll take care of yourself and the children. Don't bother to expect me as I'm not sure of what life holds for me ahead or ahead of me. All I will be able to come back. I wish you all the best as I wish for myself. Goodbye. Thank you. 
sister said. I knew that boy was a useless, irresponsible miscreant. But I don't blame him though. If this shameless idiot I call a daughter did not open her legs wide for him to mess around inside her, this nonsense wouldn't have happened. Aleta, this is a shame. This is a very big shame. Not only to this family, but to you. You, 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 you in particular. Have I not warned you never to trust anybody whose integrity and family background you can't vouch for? Look at you. Look at you. You have been left high and dry with a nine months pregnancy and a child less than two years. Only you. Shame. Now tell me, which responsible, serious minded young man will look in your direction for marriage? It's not like you have finished your secondary education. Who's going to bear all this responsibility you have brought back into this house? Me? Uh -huh. Let me tell you if you have forgotten. This is the fourth year running. I've not been able to collect my gratuity. Nonsense. Get her out of here. Come and take me out. Come and take me out of here. What nonsense. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Oosh. Spread your no. leg. Sorry, sorry to the fine. Sorry, sorry. Spread your leg. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Push. 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 How many times have I told you not to call me mommy? Eh? How many times? How many times will I tell you not to call me mommy? I said call me auntie. Say it. Say it. Let me hear. Say it. Say it. Let me hear. Let me hear from your mouth. Calling me mommy again. You will see what I will do to you. Take it easy now, sister. She's still a little child. Would you shut up your mouth? What do you know? You are being too hard on this girl. With time, she will get it right. She better start getting it now. Or otherwise, I will skin her alive. Mm -hmm. You will skin your daughter alive for calling you mom. If she doesn't get it right now, when Rita grows up, she will also start calling me mom. I don't understand you, sister. Why are you barring your daughter from calling you mom? Bridget, so can't you see that I'm still a young girl? Hmm? You don't want me to get a husband? Hmm? Why am I even explaining to you? You wouldn't understand. Are you hungry? What would you eat? Hmm? Yeah, just gonna go to the kitchen. Give this to Grandma. Auntie, you're reciting it, Auntie. Aunt Find her. She came into town yesterday. Oh, come, come sit. And I insisted I must come see you today. <laughs> wow. How are you? No wonder she's here today. As for this one, she never pays me a visit until she's forced to. Maybe because I'm not an undergraduate like you girls. Oh, please stop. You know that's not true. It is very, very true. Ever since you gained admission into the university, you've been puffing your shoulders at me. Anita. Anita. Do you know what your problem is? Complex. Inferiority complex. Anyway, being in the university has elevated my status and my courage has to go with it. Hmm? Enough of this. And Mabel, that's very unfair, honestly. Anita. I am not happy with you. I am not happy to hear that you got pregnant again and had another baby. For goodness sake, for how long will you keep making the same mistake when you should be thinking of putting your life back together and return to school? That's what I came here to discuss with you. Honestly, I don't know what keeps happening to me. I didn't plan this for myself. You're running out of time. I hope all these responsibilities give you room to reorganize yourself back to school. You know, without quality education now, you're nothing. Are your dad and mom in? Good. Let me say hi to them and see the children, okay? Let me pick up my bag. Things didn't work out the way they should. I can't 
phone is going right now. But I guess it's too late. Too late? Too late? Did you just say too late, Anita? I mean, you know it's never too late for one to chase one's dreams. Come on, you know that. I know. But... But, but, just save the buts, okay? And answer me this one question. Given the opportunity now, wouldn't you rather go back to school? Now, I mean? I'll do anything to go back to school and complete my education. You sure? Okay, then you have nothing to worry about. You know why? Because I will personally make sure that you go back to school and read to whatever level you wish. You mean... You mean you sponsor my education to school? That's what I'm saying, Anita. My parents. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just gonna say, you know, like I feel like it's time we move this relationship to a more serious level. Really. I love you. Me too. Oh, I love <laughs> you. Manage this for now, okay? Okay, thank you. Actually, this is even too much for me. But... You see my sister, isn't she beautiful? Yeah, she is. Uh, yeah, she is. She's growing up into a pretty girl, mm -hmm. like you. <laughs> thank you. She's only 10. Really? Actually, she'll be 10 next month. Wow, she's all grown. I'll tell you what, you guys have beauty running in your family. And that girl is going to knock some men's heads together. <laughs> I know. Anyway, hurry up, my father will soon be back. Okay. Mama, there's no light inside. The heat was just too unbearable. Actually, I'm comfortable here, Ma. Really, no problem at all. Sure? Yeah. Okay, dear. You're welcome, my son. I'm actually preparing something very special for you in the kitchen. So, let me hurry up. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll look forward to it. Can you taste my mom's cooking? You may have a second wife. Really? Uh-huh. Okay. What about you? Can you cook? I'm good too. You're good at cooking. Mm -hmm. uh, You're just saying that. Did she just call you mommy? I mean, you have a child? You're a mother? Yes, um, I intended to tell you, um, uh, she's, she's my first, uh, I mean, my second, she's my first child. I actually have two kids. Two? You have two kids? Mm -hmm. Oh dear. I have to leave, I have to leave. You're leaving me because I have children. Please, don't even go there, okay? Come off it! Oh, so you were just gonna... I don't get this. This is the reason why you've been pressuring me about marriage all this time? You're gonna trick me into marrying you without telling me you had kids? Listen, that's not true, okay? I wanted to tell you. You wanted to? Wanted to? When? When you give me four of my own, that's when you're going to tell me? Is that it? 
you know what I'm glad I found out now you're not the decent girl I thought you were breeding kids all over the plates out of wedlock just forget it okay it's over this relationship is over no 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 it's it's over okay this relationship is over you see what you've done you see what you've caused then go upstairs Should I will kill him? Anita, see what you are saying. You will kill your own children just because a man left you. Eh? Rosa and Rita are standing in my way and getting a bright future and a good husband. They are a source of sorrow and drawback in my life. Edward promised to take me to school and marry me. Now I've lost everything just like that. Let him go. Any man who cannot accept your children as part of you is better allowed to go. Mama, I want to settle down in life and get married at least. Daughter. Of course I know. Every woman deserves that. But you can't ignore your situation. These children are now a part of you and I want you to learn to live with this very fact. Edward is the third man I've lost in a row because of these kids. I just lost everything like that. Me, I'm tired. Anita, the truth has to be told here. Those children did not bring themselves into this world. You did. There is no dustbin where you can throw them in. Let them be the most important consideration you have in all your future plans. I'm begging you, become one. I'm tired of these kids. I am tired. I am tired of maybe lose three husbands. Well, why? Anita, you are beginning to scare me. All these your desperations and utterances mm -hmm. are beginning to scare me. Don't go and do something stupid though. Don't go and do more stupid things, so I beg you. I have called this brief meeting at your Easter Senator. The financial situation in this house is going from worse to worse. Your children are going fast and need to go to school. Bridget here will start secondary school next session. And she's such a brilliant child, I wouldn't want to drop out of school like you did. Your Cousin Emeka is there in the university, also my responsibility since my brother's death. I am handicapped without my graduate being paid over years now. And it has become such a burden on your mother's petty trade. And later you have to get a job so you can at least train your children. I was thinking of getting a job anyway, Papa. Good. Rita is over a year old. Your mother will look after her while you go to work. It's okay. That will be all for now. Of 
Yeah. Two keys to unlock. You wanted to wait till our latest time for all three to upon that before you brought the food. I sincerely apologize for the delay, sir. Enjoy your meal. What nonsense is this? I did not ask for catfish. I requested for salmon and seasoned prawns. There must have been a mix up somehow. I'll have a change for you immediately. Uh, look, is there anything you people are good at around here other than excuses? I'm sorry, sir, but. I do not take the order. Let's take that thing out of here. I'll get you your food. Get out. Is this where you have lunch, Mustang? It's the proximity to the office. Otherwise, maybe I would have Flash just gone somewhere. Mm -hmm. And that incompetent food that took our orders just disappeared into thin air. It's not really like this, you know. Well, I guess I have to wait for you. I must apologize. Enjoy. Sorry, ma'am, for the delay. The season plans and time on for you. Um, it will not repeat itself next time when you drop by. When next we drop by? Who told you we intend to come back here? Um, Lillian, it's okay, alright? It wasn't totally her fault. And her warm courteous disposition makes up for the short moments. Just relax, please. Um, I guess you're new here because I haven't seen your face before. Yes, sir. Today is my first day at work. Nice. Because this place sure needs a breath of fresh air. I'm sorry for the delay once again. Enjoy your moment. Thank you very much. Um, I'll prefer the new waiter to attend to me, please, if you don't mind. Anita. Is that her name? Yeah, but he's quite busy inside. Um, well, I insist because, as a matter of fact, you have not been particularly competent around here. The truth be told. This is the effect and difference your little charm brings to this place. Well, work has been fine, but I would do better if I had food in my stomach. Alright, then you are at the right place Um, okay, I'll just have um, rice and chicken. Please. Absolutely. Yeah, you have my bill now? Sure. There it is. Alright. There you go. Should be changed. No, sir, you don't have to. I know. But um keep it all the same. Thank you, I really appreciate it. What time do you close from work? I close at 8 p.m. Is there any problem? Um, on the contrary, I just want to have a word with you. And I guess the best time to have your attention will be after work hours. Okay. Alright then. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
said to me this guy just yesterday. You mean what? God forbid. Well, he seems to like you. Because ever since I started working here, I've never seen him pay any waitress the kind of attention he gives to you. You're lucky, girl. It looks like you rather like him. Did I say that? Anyway, he said he's going to come here afterwards to see me. Oh, I didn't have to be a Sophia. Sorry, I'm a little late, please. I would have been gone by now if it wasn't for my friend who insisted I wait. Okay. Listen, I need to get going. It's late, okay? So, please hurry up. What is it about? Okay, I'll just go straight to the point then. You see, I've not been able to take you off my mind since yesterday. I mean, there's something really affectionate that I find attractive about you. My heart longs for you. And I would like us to start a relationship. But you're already in a relationship. Do you think so? We have not even started a relationship yet, and you're wearing the mask of deception. That is not a good sign, sir. You knew nothing about me, Anita. So. You already know my name. Interesting. Alright, for balance, uh, my name is Fred. Fred Wilson. I'm an electronic consultant. I wear no mask of deception. What I feel towards you is really strong. I don't know what to say. I understand this is all of a sudden. And that's why I won't rush you into your decision. But I just want you to understand that what I feel for you is really strong. I may not use the word love. Because that might be too early for me to say. I want you in my life, Anita. And I pray that you accept me and yours too. Love doesn't come easy for me, Fred. I could only keep my fingers crossed. It's getting late. I need to get going. Okay? Alright, um, I'll drop you off then. No. Come on, Anita. It's late. Alright, um, let me give you money for cab then. Come on, Anita. You can't trick him even though I don't know your house. Don't bother, okay? I have money that could take me home. You gave me money today, you remember? Good night, Fred. Look, I plan to quickly settle down with you before I relocate to the US. Yeah, I've been having quite a number of job offers from top companies over there. 
Please don't make promises you know you can't keep. God. You know, this is just going too fast. You know, I think I should get going. Okay, I'll see you at the restaurant tomorrow. Tomorrow's my off day. Okay, um, why not give me your house address so I can come visit you tomorrow? Um, um, I stay with a friend at the moment. A friend? Yes. I thought you said you stayed with your parents. Where are they? Um, they, they, they are, um, in the group. <sighs> yeah. Um, Oh, uh, Lillian. Meet Anita. Anita, meet my sister Lillian. Tell about introducing the waitress to me, Frank. I am rather shocked to see Inako hot with her. Really, Frank? The waitress? You serious? Uh -oh. Please do this for me, Mabel. I don't want him to come to the house and see their kids. How do you expect me to help you? Have you forgotten I live with my parents? And Anita, are you going to present my parents to your new guy as your parents? No, because I have that sorted out already. I told him that my parents are in Benin, okay? He thinks I'm putting up with a friend. Sorry, Anita, I can't help you. I'm even moving to the school hostel today because I have a very busy lecture season this time. I know you don't understand what that means, right? I've discovered the campus environment to be more conducive for the pursuit of academic endeavor. Anita, I pray someday you'll be able to gain admission to you so you have the idea of what I'm talking about. Okay? So I can't help you. You don't have to rub it in, Mabel. It's okay if you're not in the position to help me. You know what? Forget I ever asked, okay? Thank you. by the elevator. Could you please come down? Hurry up, okay? It's important. Listen, I need your house key. What for? Well, Fred is coming to visit me and I told him that I live with you. What for? I'll explain later, okay? Anita, I hope you're not trying to play a fast one on Fred. You know he loves you. Listen, Harriet, you wouldn't understand, okay? I'll explain to you later. I just need your house key. Please help me, okay? Okay, 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 I've heard. I'm coming. Yes, who is it? I'm coming.
something to drink. Sure. All right. Can I see your clothes collection? My clothes That's strange. I know. My brother's one crazy dude. Yeah. So, that's why I don't have my pictures yet. Anyway, um... Drink up. You didn't mention that you stayed with your friend Harry. Are you serious? Oh, I didn't. I totally forgot. Yeah. Well, she looks very beautiful, and she's very photogenic. I never thought of her this beautiful. Okay. You know, why didn't you forget the picture then? <laughs> yourself in here. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. But there's something I don't get. Why don't you want Fred to know where you live? I don't even know where you live to even start with. It's like a big secret, huh? Promise me you keep a secret. Sure. sure, I promise I will. I cross my heart. I will. Okay. I'm a mother, Harriet. And my last child is going to be a year and six months very soon. You're a mother? How many are they? I also have a three year old daughter. I have lost so many prospective husbands. As a result, as my early secret. And um, each time a man finds out that I'm a mother, they flee away from me like I'm some kind of plague. I don't want that to happen with Fred. But I don't know how long I can keep it away from him. You know, I've always known there's something peculiar about you. Hmm, you're a mother. This is interesting. Yeah. You know, I was doing some thinking and... Uh, I was wondering if I could probably move in with you, you know, 
away from the kids so I can hang on to Fred till he makes the commitment. Mm -mm. I don't think that's a good idea. Listen, I don't mind. We'll share the rent. The rent is not the problem. My sugar daddy got this place for me. And he doesn't want into this. But you know, you and Fred can be meeting up here if it's convenient for you, you know. That's the best I can do. A beggar has no choice, right? Thanks. You're welcome. To be in the neighborhood, so I decided to check in on her. I need her in and around, but that doesn't matter, Fred. I've longed for a one on one opportunity with you, and I'm sure you know that. Oh, come on, Fred. Don't give me that look, Fred. You are handsome, you are sexy, strongly built. Fred, you just look your kind of man. Ever since you started showing up at the restaurant, you've never stopped sending my heart raising. So I don't just know why you keep snubbing my passes. Does that look like what I share with Anita? Oh, don't give me that look, please. Listen, Fred. Your darling Anita has put a huge wool over your eyes. She has two children, and that's why she can't take it to where she lives. I don't believe a single word of what you just said now. Listen to me. This is cheap blackmail, my friend. Point of correction. Anita is not my friend. I don't even know where she lives. Never will forget the way you felt when I wrote me. 